I've got this USB charger. Uh, so the brand is Tiasi, and it's got the four output sockets. But I was a bit surprised. I I kind of expected because this is a you know modern unit. I kind of expected that it was would have fast charging, and it doesn't appear to. Um, I mean, it's still quite a convenient thing, you know, if you're travelling and you, you can have four things plugged in for charging at the same time and it works fine. But I was just curious to see what kind of electronics are inside. Oh, what's it say underneath? It says uh, total output 5 volts, 5 amps. Uh, yeah, output... 5 volts 2.4 amps so it doesn't claim to be a fast charger so I don't I haven't really got any right to complain but um, I thought I might just crack it open and we can have a look inside see what kind of electronics are inside it see if it's got a modern chip in it I, th I think it's glued around the base here so I might have to get a little bit destructive with it but let's crack it open and see what happens. So that wasn't at all bad actually. So I managed to get the the chisel, the edge of a sharp chisel into here and just prise that open and break the glue. So you can see inside we've got the two wires coming in from the AC mains. And then the unit itself slides out. We've got uh, that sticky pad there. Uh, so we got the four outputs here and a lot of the components seem to be surface mount on the back so I don't know if these are all the same if because the, there's looks like looks like there's two no this will be the main side here I can see because there's a sort of big sort of gap here to separate the main side from the um, from the low voltage side, so we seem to have two circuits here, each serving two of those sockets. And uh, I'll have to get the magnifying glass out and see if I can see any any markings on here. Okay, so what have I discovered? So this chip on the back here, uh, I'll show you a zoomed in picture, but the ID number on here says 45R25P. But looking at the way that the chip is actually soldered down, you see there's a big blob of solder on that side and the same on the other side. So there's actually only three connectors there. So I think this is a MOSFET, so, so it's either a single or dual MOSFET and they've soldered all of those pins together for extra current carrying capabilities. So this is the like the current switch if you like. And then apart from that, right down there, it's difficult to see, but there's a little chip down there and that's marked 6888C. And, um, and if you zoom down on that, again I've taken a zoomed in picture you can have a look at this but the there are a couple of traces there that go from that chip into the center two pins on the USB so the center two pins are often used as a um, the, the, there's a like a resistive network that presents different voltages to the two pins to indicate how much current is available so that's an old sort of Apple convention that's how Apple used to uh, uh, build their chargers uh, so I think that's what that's what that's doing there so the chip is probably a, a resistive uh, array I, I can actually check that with the multimeter and I, I might do that in a minute but basically it's quite an old-fashioned design really because um, all that's happening on this side is you know we're switching and presenting different voltages so there's no sort of fast charging circuitry or anything clever here really and then you see so so looking at the rest of the circuit so you've got a couple of small transformers so at least you got you know 
one transformer serving two uh, two of the outputs. So you've got the you know current carrying capabilities split between these two transformers, which is a good idea. Um, and there's some protection components in there. Uh, and but but mainly what what we've got on this side is we've got the mains coming in through this so this rather chunky surface mount resistor is um in the in the path of the mains so this will be a fusible resistor designed to burn out and the first chip here on the back is a uh, bridge rectifier full bridge rectifier and then you've got a couple of well again i can't see what they are because these ones aren't even marked but the, these are going to be uh, switch mode chips so so chopping up the mains and making it into a, a lower lower voltage um but as i as i mentioned here there's quite a nice gap here to you know to protect the low voltage circuitry from the from the main side so i mean it's nothing staggeringly interesting really in t in terms of circuit design but i'm quite pleased to have taken it apart and to have some confidence in you know what the internals are in this uh, in this particular power supply uh, so i can glue it back together and put it back in service <laughs>